Good morning everybody. Um, on this uh, video I'm going to make, I'm going to be putting in some uh, car builders sound deadener into the uh, Toyota. So I've got it all there, had it there for a couple of weeks ready to go. So I'm just in the process of uh, taking everything out. So I won't sort of show you too much of that because it's all over YouTube anyway. But um, I'll take all this out and then I'll get started. So this will probably take me a, a few days I'd say. Okay, so just done a little bit more. That didn't take too long. Just got all the, uh, the bottom of the interior out. Just got to do the headlining now. Get the handles off here and all these bits and pieces. Visor. But anyway, we'll get there. This is the uh, the bracket that Superior Engineering put in, just to give the handbrake a bit more, a uh, bit more punch, a bit more, a bit more holding power. You can see they do a nice job there. Lift it up a bit, give it a bit more, a bit more usable pull line. So that's good. Anyway, we'll keep going. Now that I've got everything out of the interior, even the even the roof lining, I'm going to use this cleaner that came with the kit. We'll just spray that on everywhere up here. Get that that just residue off. Then I can start sticking on the, the insulation. Sounds uh, nice and clean. There's definitely nothing left on there. No marks or anything. That's good. You can smell it. It's quite strong. This stuff is really sticky, so it's it's uh, it's going to hold. Just pulling this backing paper off slowly as I go along. It's actually fun stuff to put on. It's uh, probably won't be fun by the time I'm at the end. We'll see. So I just thought I'd do it that way because you use one, two, three, four, five, and then this is the sixth. So I cut this one in half just so I knew where to start. So you'll see in a sec when I get that next sheet on. That's better. I've got a milk crate to sit on now. So this one goes here. That's two, three, four, five, six, and then another six for this back half. So that's one box, 12 sheets. That's about right. I'd hate to get this stuff off if you made a mistake. It'd be real nasty. Anyway, that's it. We're getting there. So, the little bit that I've done so far. Okay, so we'll come up here. We'll see if the microphone can pick this up. So I can tell a difference already. It's uh, slow going, it's fun. It gets you in the neck a bit. But I've got a milk crate there to sit on. It helps a bit. Anyway, I'll check back in when I've done a bit more. Okay, good morning. So it's another day. Uh, it's a bit dark outside, so I hope the light's all right in here. But uh, I'm just up to uh, taping all these joins here. Uh, I've got the special tape 
comes with the kit. So I've just been cutting it into lengths, peel off the back and uh, go over the joins. You can see with this this kit, everything's really sticky. So it, you can see the quality. I think it's uh, it's it's pretty good. It's well worth it. Just hope it uh, cuts the noise down. Okay, so I've done that. I've taped up all the joins. Uh, now I've got to put the next layer on. Just give it a wipe down before I start. So next layer, it's this sand and heat insulation, pull that off, stick it up. Yeah, that's tricky to get started, there's obviously a knack to it, but uh, I think that'll come up alright. I found if I just pull a little bit off the back at a time, and then get under here and just roll a little bit a nice neat job so I've just finished the, the roof the ceiling I think that came up pretty good had a few little air bubbles in there but you just get the knife just cut a little hole roll it let the air out came up good so just starting on the back now if you take your time it bends in pretty good this stuff you definitely need a roller so i finished the back wall there it is there just use that little bit of tape up I have left. I only had about a metre. That's done. I'm just going to do this bit first and then if I've got some left I'll go in here because the, the cover panel hides that so that'll be okay. So now I've got this acoustic liner to go on. Peel the back off. It's like two layers. It's a bit different to this stuff. See how it looks. There it is there. Acoustic liner goes on the back. So I just measured that up 40 centimeters and then cut it rather than try and handle that whole big sheet, stick half of it down and then put it in. So that fits nice. Now I forgot about that grommet. There's a grommet down here. So we'll cut around that. Give that a roll. Look at that. Good. Make sure that gets in. Tidy that up around there. That's good. There's the back, came up alright and I've still got a bit left over so I might use that down the sides here, maybe up there, we'll just see how we go when we get to the end. Just vacuuming and finally start on the floor. All right. So the floor's all cleaned, I've vacuumed, I've used the cleaner. It's all dry, it's ready to go. So I'm gonna start in the middle here. There's only one grommet to cut around. And then I'll just sort of work my way out and forwards, I think. Might be the easiest.
Let's get all those air bubbles out. Just got to work it in. Takes time, you can see why it takes so long. Just keep chipping away at it, you get a good job. So it's uh, day three, I'm up to now. I'm not doing full days. Just the kids keeping me busy and whatnot, but uh, trying to do as much as I can. But uh, yeah, this is my third day. So I've got the roof done, the back, and half of the floor. So uh, the floor is very time consuming. You've got to go around all these grommets. Um, well, I am. You know, all the holes. But it's good fun. Just take your time and use up all your scraps. Put them in everywhere. It's looking good. Happy with it so far. Good morning. So it's another day. I'm going to hopefully try and get this, uh, this sound deadener in, um, the mass noise liner in, and uh, finish up today, but we'll see how we go. Anyway, I've, uh, I've just got it sitting out here in the sun, what there is of the sun, just to try and soften it a bit. I think it might just make it a little bit easier, because it's pretty thick stuff actually. It's been a bit cold lately, so it's doesn't want to bend too much so I thought if I leave it in the sun warm it up a bit that'll just help so I've just done um, one section on the front I just cut that sheet in half and I've molded that in around there peeled off the back there I can stick that down and I think that came up pretty good actually big flap up there I just tucked in underneath so that'll that'll fit nicely but once I tape that down that's good I might just keep working back here I think I just seem to find it easier working on one side so I've just got a seat bracket here just gonna try and cut around just start off small I'm getting there it's not such a bad job I sort of wasn't looking forward to this but uh, it's sort of coming along a lot quicker than I thought so I'm just trying to cut it in the car without lifting it in and out all the time I just find it easier that way that's all right we're going all right so I've just finished putting in the mass noise liner and I think that's come up pretty good. It's got a good, uh, a good fit everywhere. I'm not quite sure around here. I might just have to wait till I put everything back in to see if I've got any clearance issues. I can trim a bit more off. But that's come up all right. I just ran out of gaffer tape there, so I had some other, some sort of foil tape there I've used. You won't see it; it'll be underneath. That sits in there pretty good, actually. So now I'll, um, I'll get the original underlay uh, back in, peel the, peel the, 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 the cotton fibre off and, uh, and lay it down, see how we go. Well, I got the, uh, the floor lining in, it's obviously a bit tighter going over the, that mass sound liner, but I think it should, it should settle down a bit and you you won't notice that um but that's come up pretty good i reckon obviously you know it's a bit higher here but you know that's under the chair but it should sit down all right i reckon once everything's on just started putting the, the roof liner back in and then um if i've got any spare uh insulation after i've done the doors i'll i'll stick it on the, the pillars here 
and up the back there a bit more just use up every scrap that I've got but it's good it's starting to finally um, get put back together which is nice so I'm just sort of putting it back together in uh, bits and pieces um, I just want to see how much of that uh, sound deadener I've got left over so I can put down here on the sides and um, work out the doors got about 10 sheets left so maybe two and a half per door I'm not quite sure how much I'm gonna need but um, I've got a few bits and pieces left over I'm just trying to fill up all the holes so I'm just slowly getting it all back together I've got the roof liner in just putting all the plastic sides on uh, it's definitely uh, definitely a longer process putting it back together it's all good fun The interior is getting put back together nicely. Uh, I've just got the back seat to do. Just need someone to give me a lift with that so we can get it in because it is quite heavy. And then that's done. Got all the sides on. Just doing the uh, the doors now. So I just got the the door card off. I'm just going to start pulling this off and. Just see how much I need. Just stick that up there for the moment. You can probably get in there, no worries. So I just cut it to size and then slide it in with the backing still on and then peel it off when it's in there just uh, easier that way it doesn't stick to everything on the way in you can notice the sound difference already which is nice So here we go, just finished the driver's door. See if you can hear this. So I'm pretty happy with that, that's pretty cool. So I've got my uh, interior all back in, uh, all the seats are back in, everything. Got some seat covers on. Just got a cheapo one from uh, super cheap for the back there for the kids uh, so that'll be all right if they get that dirty can pull that out and give that a clean but uh, yeah very happy with that <clears throat> came up well definitely sounds uh, a lot different so uh, I'm happy with that that was a big job um, and I'm glad it's done now I can move on to other things so thanks for watching